Hello friends, this is Tanya with Tinkering and Ink with Tanya, and I'm here to do a quick little tutorial on uh, these little purses. They hold a variety of things, including chapstick, or some little Lind chocolates. There's two of them. You could fit three in there. And I've also stuck nuggets in there. You can keep, you can put a little inclusion card in, so you can write a note. Uh, a gift card will also fit in this cute little purse. So let's get started. So you're going to start with a 6x6 six six piece of paper. This one is from the Quilted Christmas, I think it's called, DSP pack. Um, very fun. Lots of garden green going on here, which is very Christmassy. So that's our starting measurements. And we're going to need our scoreboard. So first set of scores we're going to do uh, will be at one and a quarter and three and three quarters. Excuse me, four and three quarters. Yep, one, two, half, four, three quarters. Okay. And then we're going to turn it and we will score at two and a half and three and a half. And I've included the metric measurements, as you may have noticed. Two and a half and three and a half. Done with the scoring. Now we'll just do our creasing. I tend to be a little gentler on the DSP than I am on cardstock when I'm scoring, so I don't push through the paper. Although Stampin' Ups is pretty heavy for designer series paper, or patterned paper. Okay, so the next step, you've got your two shorter or narrower sides, and we're going to put some in heat. Oh no, skip that. Not skip that, but it's later. So we're going to find this little point, and we're going to fold that to the edge. Increase that, and we'll repeat that over here. This is the trickiest part, I swear. And once you've done it a time or two, it is so easy. So once you've done that on all four, then so you can make these ahead and they'll fold flat. That's pretty awesome. So now is when the adhesive comes in. We do four corners. You can use whatever adhesive you prefer. I, I really like fast fuse. So then we're going to fold that in, and that's where the body of our purse comes. It's pretty simple. So then to decorate it up, you can lay it flat, and you're going to take some coordinating paper. And you're going to cut a couple of half inch strips. They're going to need to be roughly three and a half inches long. You can cut them extra long and trim them off. So I'm going to cut two half inch strips here. And then I'm going to use some more fat. Oh, I'm also going to cut because I need that next. Two strips of uh, ribbon that are six inches long. I'm using my grid paper here, which you may or may not be able to see that this is six inches. Right there. And it does not have to be exact. Just in the ballpark. So then we take the fast fuse or your adhesive of choice and you're going to put some on each end here. I guess we can just get the adhesive out of the way. There we go. And then I'm going to use my grid paper again because I generally put these about half inch from each side. And these are the little handles. Another reason it's awesome to use Stampin' Up! products because they all coordinate. So then you're just going to line this up on here. Oopsie. 
Good heavens. Never had that happen before. Of course, it would happen when I'm filming. Okay. And I'll trim this off. And we'll take the other handle and put that on. Just making sure your ribbon isn't twisted. Line that up. Trim that off. <clears throat> and again, there's your cute little purse. So the next step is to create your closure. So I'm going to take, let's take the smaller scrap. Wow, just big enough. And I'm going to punch out a circle tab. And use a little fast fuse again to tack that on. Whoop. And I'm going to center this so I can center this on my little purse. And then I'm also using, these are Tombow hook and loop tabs. They're very thin and they come in a pack of a, bun a bunch. There are 24 pieces in here. However, I cut each of these into four. So I cut it in half and then quarters. And then I have these lots and lots of them. So that would make almost 100 in, out of that bag. And I bought them a long time ago, so I don't even know how much those cost anymore. I'm sure it's under 10 bucks. So I'm going to take an unsticky that, put it on the back of this tab. Now if you're doing a one di directional um, paper, you'd have to make sure that your front was going to be the one that was the right side up. So then you fold your tab over and stick your finger in there and give a good squeeze. There you go. And to add a little extra something cute, I'm going to put one of these these on the front of the closure, just because it's fun. Um, me and Peelys don't get along so well, by the way. So I'm going to lay this flat again so I can give good pressure on this little bow to get it to stick. There we go. And then you can hang a little tag from the handle. Um, I know there's several different tags available on several different dies. And you can just take a simple shape and punch a hole in it and thread some twine through it. So that's one with a tag. And that's it. That's the entire making of this purse. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Give me a like, um, check out my blog, and go shopping in the supply list down below. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.